Okay, so here we go, this is my new little gadget. I have actually had this for a couple of weeks now and I couldn't wait to open it. I've been waiting for about three months. I was on uh, pre-order for one of these little guys. And so when it actually came, I couldn't be bothered to film. And I just opened it up and started playing with it. So now we're going back uh, into the back into the future and shooting a video now with this little device. This is a companion device to go with your computer. It's like a little keyboard companion. It's work, it's made by a company called Work Louder. They make really expensive keyboards, like three, four hundred dollar keyboards. I'm not totally sold on spending that much money on a keyboard right now but this thing I think was about 300 bucks and I've been really impressed with it. Workloader had actually produced another unit like this previously uh, just for creatives. It allows you to have creative shortcuts next to you. This one was made I think in partnership or at least in collaboration with Figma. For those who don't know what Figma is, Figma was actually just acquired recently by Photoshop for like a billion dollars plus. But what Figma is, is a design tool. Uh, it's like a Photoshop but for UX and UI design. And so they've done it in, in partnership with those guys. And what that really means is some of the keys and the shortcuts you can create are more Figma centric. So let's open it up. And this is what we get inside. Now, uh, I haven't bought the other keys with me, but there's lots of other key replacements that you can do for this. And um, these are just the ones that I've put on and what I've calibrated. I don't like to get too much into these things. You can get really, really kind of um, into these things and program these things. To be honest, I have run into a few issues on some of the custom shortcuts. Uh, and what I found has worked best for me was just going to their little marketplace and using their predetermined uh, presets that you can just install on the device. It's done through Safari or Chrome. It's very, very easy and, and to do. But for me to some, kind of create some of those custom ones was kind of difficult, kind of hard. This is all you get inside there. And you obviously get the colored keys as well to go on it. Nice little clicky sound. And I put these keys on here to match what the presets are. So we've got, you know, line tool, square, circle, alignment tools, and comment. The things I do use quite a lot. This little scroll wheel here allows you to zoom in and zoom out. And this little wheel here allows you to undo and redo. This little smiley face actually has some little uh, LEDs or something there. And so they are to switch between the prefixes. At the moment, I've only got the one prefix, which is what you see here, these buttons you see here. So when you tap to the next prefix, this button could take a different role, do something different. Obviously, you can't change the key dynamically, but that's what it would do. So the idea would be that this would be a companion that sits next to your keyboard. And at home, I have my keyboard there, and I have this companion. The, the thing I find is I already do a lot of this stuff on my keyboard. So it is a little bit of a learning curve to start using this more. I've been using the undo is actually better. The scroll feels more natural than control V, whatever, you know, the undo keys. I actually do really like just scrolling through and seeing the changes happening on my screen. And I've been using the zoom quite a lot. I'm still getting into the habit of using this more and more, but the idea is it gets more kind of faster working methodology. You also have an, uh, a color system inside here, which you can program. I have mine kind of like revolving through different colors. Again, I'll, I'll plug it in a second and we'll, we'll have a look at that. Uh, but I just think it's a very aesthetic thing. I thought, you know, even if I don't use it, it just looks flipping cool sitting there on the, on the desk. So really, really happy with it. Uh, still trying to get to grips with it um, and use it more often. So uh, I'm gonna get my laptop, we'll plug it in with the USB-C and I'll just show you roughly how it works and how it, how it looks. Just moved to a slightly sort of darker place. It was really, really bright in that area, but you can see that it's revolving through the colors now. So I have Figma open up here, got some design files for Zoom. So as we, as we, as we move that little bit there, we're zooming in and out of our canvas. Uh, if I go up here to sort of a little blank space, if I press the square, I get a square. If I press the oval, I get an oval. And I can also add comments. Comments is the one I've been sort of mainly using as a quick hotkey. You know, can you do this without this? Of course you can. Like, you know, I just go up here and I press square. I mean, and I've got really used to pressing command, like command R or whatever to create a rectangle or command O to create the, the, the oval. But you know what, like I said, the aesthetic makes me want to use it. You know, I want to use, and I can, you know, I can get rid of those now just by undoing them. 
I feel it makes you feel like you're really in command of the, the designs you're doing. I'm a big fan of it, I really like it. So if you're considering buying uh, an external controller like this, I can really recommend the Work Louder product range. I love the build quality. I love the aesthetic that they actually have. They will do another one of these that isn't Figma related. Maybe that would be better for you just as a creative within Photoshop or anything like that. Um, so I would recommend them as a company and their products. Some of the other things are a lot more expensive. So whether you want to sink that kind of money into it is up to you. Um, and I'm gonna to continue to buy more of these types of things, test them out so you don't have to. Subscribe for more videos like this and podcasts on entrepreneurship.